What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add event search to our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add event search. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, it's all my courses, videos, and books one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add this event search page. So we've got a little search box at the top. We can search for anything we want here, and then it pops up down here. So pretty simple, we've already done venue search, so this is gonna be very similar, but you know, we're gonna add a few bells and whistles and uh, have some fun with it. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we know with Django, anytime we wanna create something, it's always a three-step process. We need a template file, we need a URL, and we need a views.py thing. So let's just jump in here and do that. So let's go to our events, templates, events, and let's create a new file. And let's go file, save as, and let's just save this as search underscore events.html. And I'm gonna open up my search venue file that we did in a previous video and copy this and just sort of paste it into our new page here. And let's come through here, and this is gonna be for event in events. And we don't need a URL because we don't have separate pages for these, so we just want the event, all right? And we've got some other stuff here. Okay, that looks good. So we'll modify this going forward, but this is okay for now. So now let's come down and create a URL. We've done this many times. So I'm just gonna copy the last one, and this is gonna be search underscore events. So I'll just copy this, same thing here, and same thing there. Okay, so that looks good, comma at the end, save that. Now let's head over to our views.py file and let's search for search. And here's our search venues function that we did earlier. I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. And underneath it, let's call this search underscore events. And let's just sort of come through here and change some of these things. So this will be events. Our model is the event model, okay. We want to return the search underscore events page. There we go. And let's pass in events instead of venues. Okay, same thing here. Let's change this to events. All right. So we're going to have to modify this a little bit, but this will do for now. Now we also need a link to this page from our nav bar. So let's head over to our nav bar and let's come down here and look for events. Here we go. I'm just gonna copy the last one, make sure it's in this if statement because, well, maybe not. Do we want this to show up only if somebody's logged in? Maybe, maybe not. Let's put it outside. Maybe we don't care if somebody is logged in or not. So this is gonna be search underscore events and we'll have it say search. Okay, so let's save this, head back over to the website and see I'm not logged in. So we can come here, search events, to say, hey, you forgot to search for a venue. We haven't actually created a form or anything. And I'm just gonna log in because why not? Come back here. Okay, so we've got this page, now we need to do something with it. So I'm gonna come over to our nav bar again and scroll down to the bottom of this thing and just sort of very quickly grab the little search box that's on that page. And we're just gonna go ahead and use this. Now we could create a Django form for this. We've done that many times, so I'm not gonna do it. In this case, I'm just, going to create sort of a little quasi form here without an actual Django form to go with it. We're just passing one thing in, uh, that should be fine. So let's head back over to our search events and at the top of this page, we probably don't wanna center these things, so get rid of that. At the top of this page, let's add that form. Now, we don't need a class of dflex and the action is gonna be search underscore events. But otherwise, I think this can pretty much stay the same. So here's our button. Let me put a line break. Okay, let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website, see how that looks. Okay, we probably wanna put this in a card or something, but for now, let me just run a search. Hey, we get two things, Bob and test two. Okay, so it's doing something. So you searched for, uh, that doesn't look great there. These don't look great. Let's play around with this. So the first thing I wanna do is add a card here. 
And actually, I probably want to add a card here too to deal with all the things. So let's head over to our event list page and grab the card for that because it already has all the things we want for an event, right? So I'm just going to copy this whole thing and bring it back over to our search events thing. And instead of our event loop here, I'm just going to paste in that stuff. Let's save this, head back over here, make sure that looks okay. Hit reload. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I want to take our search box and put it in a card too. Sort of keep the same theme going throughout all this stuff. So we could just come up here to that card we just pasted. And right here, card header and card body. Take that, bring it up to our form and just paste that in. Let's grab this stuff too, if searched, right? So let's come up here and in the card header, instead of event, let's say if searched, say you search for, we don't want this H1 tag, obviously, so get rid of that. Right? That looks good. Let's also do an else statement. So let's say else search events, dot, dot, dot. And we need to end our if, so let's say end if. Now this had an end if tag somewhere. So we got to come down here and find it and get rid of it. Uh, let's see. Mm, I don't see it anywhere. All right, maybe it didn't have one. So now let's say this, hey, you forgot to search for something. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So here we've got this, you searched for thing. If you haven't searched, it just says search events. Now for the body, we've got our form. Okay. Now we need to close some div tags for our cards. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. Let's head back over to the website and see if it does look good. Okay, you search for test. And here we go. So if we search for Bob, it says Bob. Now, what exactly are we searching when we're searching? Let's head back over to our views.py file and see. So let's go views.py. And here's our search function. And we're searching the name. Right, so maybe we want that, maybe we don't. So if we head back over to our models.py file in our events model, we can search name, we can search date, venue, manager, description. I think maybe I'm gonna go with description instead of name. Now, maybe in a future video, I'll show you how to search multiple fields here. So if you wanted to search name and description and manager and attendees, we could do that. It's a little beyond this video. But for now, let's just change this to description contains instead, because I don't know, to me that seems a little better. Now, if we refresh this, only one has Bob. If we search test, there are one, two, three that have test in the description. You can see Bob's test event, this is a test event, right? So normally the description for a real event would be like a paragraph of text. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff there to search through. An event name may not be all that useful to search for. It could be like 5K run or something. Well, that's probably going to be in the description. Join us for our 5K run, you know, whatever. It's going to be here. It's going to do this. All that stuff's going to be in the description normally. You know, we just have some test ones, so there's not much in our descriptions. But, you know, in the real world, that would be the case. Now, you'll notice this one has buttons because we own this one as the admin, so we can update or delete it. We don't own these other ones, so those buttons aren't coming through. And that code is coming from, of course, our search events, that card we pasted in, it already had all of that stuff right here with this if statement, right? So that's cool. And uh, really that's all there is to it. So like I said, similar to our search venues, we copied a lot of that code, but I don't know, we've got a little search box up here. That looks nice. We've got the cards for each event. That looks pretty good, I think. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeby.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeby.com, and I'll see you in the next video.